Hey, how are you guys doing? So we are now on the third episode of Lola Superstar. If you're wondering why there was a break, that's because of the Olympics. So two weeks were canceled. So now we are back on schedule, except we will be missing one more week because of the Paralympics that's also happening. Uh, was it two weeks from now, I think? In late August, I think we're going to skip the 25th. So we should get the next episode next week, but then we'll skip another week for fifth, and then after that we'll be back on schedule with no more cancellations. So if you're interested on that, and of course if you're interested in watching the episode, you will have to go through the, there's the official sources like Funimation or Crunchyroll or Waka Anime, depending on your location. For most of us, will be on Funimation, but then there is like a day or two delay for subs because that's what NHK wants or something like that. Well, with that out of the way, let's go ahead and jump into the episode. And this episode picks off right after the last episode where Akana was about to sing and, you know, that's where the ending started and supposedly she was fixed all her abilities or inability to sing, but again, she's still nervous and unsure of herself and a little afraid, so looks like she hasn't been cured of that yet. So we'll have to see how she overcomes that fear. So we start with the third episode here and Right after the opening day showed this and I just, I don't know, I just kind of find it kind of uh, nice that we get to see the name of the episode, you know, somewhere plastered on something. So in this case we got the cup which says, you say Keka, but actually Kuka, we'll, we'll get to what that is later in this episode. But anyways, we skip a little ahead and Ren is basically telling Kanon, you know, don't suck when they're gonna do the performance as that will bring disgrace you know kind of similar to what all you know, the other student council presidents say but you know it's her thing if she wants to do it that's okay if she's not the best at it that's you know her problem but I don't think she should be barred from doing that but she's also says she's going to help her out but Ren's like well don't waste your time with this and make sure you do your activities but in order to help Kano get better, she decided, you know, help her out with the taki, takoyaki, which, you know, is at the octopus balls. And she feels that would make her more confident as she has to make a bunch of the stuff and help everyone out. But during that scenes, I just like how Cuckoo's just with the octopus hat and just going around. But in the end, this doesn't help, but who knew? Singing and making takoyaki was different. So they're trying a different method here. And they are seeing if putting cute outfits will inspire to sing well. So they try to give her a bunch of cute outfits and accessories, but kind of just thinks she does not look good in that. So these girls basically force it on her, f making her change. And you know, it's a pretty cute outfit to be honest here. But Kanon is not very confident about it, but the girls decide, you know what, let's take a bunch of photos. That will definitely help and we'll post on social media. So she goes through a bunch of poses of differing emotions. And, and there's this one as well. So honestly, she was, didn't feel like that really helped, but the girls are going to keep trying different ideas. But Kuku was like, but you did it before, but Kano's like, nah, no, that, that was a fluke. So Kuku just suggests that she will sing with her. And then on top of that, she decided to make this kind of little float here, where we see this Kuka. So that is, I guess, going to be the name of this group currently. It's the name that she had thought of. And well, the explanation, well, she'll explain it here, but basically she took the ku or the ke part from her name and then kanon ke, so kuka. But then a little after that, they realized they're going to go get Sunny Passion or Sunny Pa in their performance that they're going to do in about five days. And kuka is basically idolizing these idols as that's the reason why she wanted to be an idol is because of these girls. And you see this girl, what is Hirijirisawa Yuna? I think, I hope I said that right. And then Hiragi Mao. So these are the two girls who are part of Sunny Passion. We'll see how much more we'll get to see these girls. But we do get a little snippet of their song. But it's honestly not that much. So we have a little bit here. It's nice to see, but hopefully we'll get a little bit more in the future, especially with Rivals, there has been always a strong lack of content for them, and who knows, maybe we'll get a full version of that song in the future. Soon after, Chisoto decides she has to leave, but then Cuckoo's like, do you want to be a school idol? And 
Chisato's was like, yes, but I kind of also have to do dance. And you know, she can't really try to do both or she's going to try to be an idol. She's not going to do it half-heartedly. So it's more of a thing that she's like, I could try to support my friend, but I don't know yet. So we'll have to see if she'll change her opinions in the future. When Cuckoo comes back, Kano kind of starts to break down because she feels like she can't be able to be a school I a good school idol and she's going to let Cuckoo down. But Cuckoo's like, no, that's not true at all. I kind of fell in love with your singing in first sight. And, you know, these girls are able to bond through that experience. And Kano's like, you know what? You don't have to call me Kano-san now. Just call me by first name, which, you know, as you get better friends, this is, you generally drop the formalities of putting the son in her name. So now they're even better friends now. So then we get a little training montage where these girls are training for the next four days, trying to get ready for the performance. And bam, we're here at the performance here. So it's very crowded and I think it's about 10 idols that are performing here. And we get a look at the stage, which is very nice. And we get a look at these girls and these outfits as well. And we see some commotion, which actually grabs the attention of Sunny Passion. Now, just taking a look at these outfits, I honestly think they re look really nice. And they have a little sparkly effect on them. But they almost kind of remind me of Bokotachi Wahita Suno Hikari's outfit. They also, they're not exactly the same here. But you know what the color scheme and such, I think it's pretty nice. And of course, it's we got a little pink and blue here, which I think looks nice and has a great accent. And overall, I like the outfit. Meanwhile, we find Sumine, who's lurking around and noticing these girls and she's like i want to get closer and then she trips over a wire and then the power goes out kind of reminds me of a other certain group who lost power during performance but these girls honestly their confidence was sh shaken they already were pretty shaken and they were kind of scared and this doesn't really help build them up but then the girls in the audience have a bright idea and they pull glow sticks which this looks really nice. This kind of reminds me of, you know, kind of Star Dash when you see all the glow sticks in the audience. This kind of li light just lights them up, to be frank here. And it inspires them to perform their first song together, which will be Tiny Stars. So we got a relatively pretty life here and of course I told you I already like the outfits but honestly pretty good song by these girls and honestly I like I really like the night sky being in the background but just a lot of great moments in here and more importantly we notice someone who is staring at the crowd to none of our surprise and then we have Sumina running away saying her catchphrase and we see something passion who takes note at least for right now but that is going to basically conclude the episode here. We had these girls who are going to win the best newcomer award for their performance. They did not win. Sunny Passion got first place as most people expected and as they expected too. But you know that is a great first step here. That Kuka has made a big impact on a bunch of the other girls in there. And then following that we get the ending. Just as a note we are going to get different versions for the end as just like with Love Life Squirrel Project and Love Life Sunshine it will have different versions of the ending theme with the first ending theme we got was just just Kano now we got one with Kano and Cuckoo so yeah but it's not a new song so I'm not going to show it next up in the next episode we're going to have Galaxy on the street corner guess who that could be about but there's just a few funny moments here that I just want to share and we also get a look at Ren maybe middle school years here but Looks like we're probably going to learn a little bit more about Sumina in the next episode and we'll have to see if she will join. But beyond that, they follow this with Memories, which was that song I mentioned last time at the very end of the NHKE broadcast version of the episode where they had Kanon's just singing it. Now it looks like we have Chisato singing it by herself. So I guess maybe that song has solo versions for each of the girls. Maybe there's a group version of that. I don't know, but I guess there's not just a kind of solo song so hmm that's interesting but let me know what you guys think about this episode in the comments below what do you think about this new song what do you think about the outfits and just overall the, the live the moments that happened in there 
and are there any funny moments that you really enjoyed about this episode and frankly i just think it's great that we are back in this i have been enjoying myself here and it was nice to be able to see the girls interact and start to see them getting more involved especially now that you know it's not just chisato and it's not just Having Sumina and Ren just, you know, kind of be more background characters. Well, it looks like we'll finally get a lot more Sumina action now. She's probably the one having the least. So we'll see her interact with the girls a lot more. So I'm really curious to see how that goes. But let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. And of course, at the conclusion of this episode, I have a poll open for you guys to vote on who you think is your favorite character after this episode. I don't really imagine it's going to change too much, but I'm curious to see if it has, or if you know the girls that didn't get too much exposure yet has changed yet. Let me know that in the comments below, and of course, we'll have to see what the results happen at around Wednesday or Thursday or so when I take a look at the results. So that, that poll will be in the link in the description below. Please participate if you're interested. Thank you guys for watching and hope to catch you guys in another video soon.